Hey guys, so my last video cut out, um, so I'm gonna do a part two to this haul. So I got the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Scent Spray. And I gotta say, I finally got it. I know lovely Leo One has asked me about that, like if I tried it to let her know. So sorry, this is super late, but I did try it. And it's a really nice scent. So I was not expecting it exactly to smell the way that it did, but it's really nice. Um, let me take the cap off again and spray it. I need to like, I don't know exactly how to describe it. That's my only thing. Okay. It's like a tea scent. It kind of reminds me of like the scent of like green tea. If you have tried like those Arizona green teas or just green tea in general, um, no, I would say more like the Arizona sweet green tea. That's what this reminds me of. So it's really nice. I really like this one. Um, it has a fresh vibe to it. It kind of smells like a fresh, like green kind of note in here, like green. Um, if you like green scents, I think you'd really like this slightly outdoorsy but the tea in it is really nice and I think it's that tea factor that really makes this scent so pretty. Um, there is slightly a similarity to this one and the sunflower one. They're not exactly the same but they have a similar DNA to it. Um, so I have to say if you like the sunflower one I think you would really like this one as well. And this one's like nice because it has like that oh and it says right here it's a green tea scent spray so yeah it smells like green tea but i would say it smells like the sweeter ones like the arizona green tea um if you smell that it's sweeter it's not like a mossy green tea which sometimes is a little bit off-putting in my opinion um but it also has like those green notes which add that freshness to it yeah and it just smells really nice and fresh um, I would say slightly, maybe slight florals to it as well, but this is really, really beautiful. Okay, guys, the next one I got is the Jimmy Choo. This is the Jimmy Choo floral. This one smells really good as well. This one is actually somewhat similar to the Elizabeth one. <laughs> Not exactly the same though, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the notes. But this one is also another green scent. Now this one is a little bit more tart than this one. Like you can tell this one has more notes in it. Like they're not the same, but they just have a similar like vibe with the green notes in here. This one to me, it definitely has more like the florals in here and it has some tartness. I wonder if it has some like slight fruity notes to it as well. But it'd be more like, if anything, I feel like it'd be more like a citrusy type of fruit or like an apple kind of, where it's more like a fresh fruit. But mostly this is a floral fragrance, but more on the green floral side. This one smells really good as well. It's really fresh, really pretty. I think this would be the perfect scent to bring out during the spring and summertime because of just how fresh it is. Like right now I'm kind of like, uh, like it's not really the vibe at the moment because, you know, it's getting colder out. But when it's the spring and summer, I could definitely see me wearing this a lot more. I'll still wear this now, but I just mean not an everyday type of scent for like the winter time. But for the spring and summer, this is perfect. And I like this because if you ever want a fresh scent where it's not too fruity or too overwhelming, um, you want it more on the floral side, but like a lighter, greener floral, then this one is perfect. So it's really a beautiful scent. I definitely still prefer Jimmy Choo Blossom, which is like a juicy, like fruit. It smells like a, a fruit juice or kind of like a sweet, like daiquiri or something. But this one smells nice when you want a more fresher, more elevated one um more green notes so this is really good 
Okay, guys, so I got three fragrances from Victoria's Secret. These are ones I've been wanting for a while now. So I got Bombshell Seduction. I literally, like, fall in love with every bombshell scent that it has come out with, that I've tried so far, at least. I haven't tried the OUD one yet, um, and I probably haven't tried another one. I can't remember which one, but... This one smells good. So I was expecting this one when I smelled it on the the sticker. I thought it was going to be so tart. But honestly, this is so nice and it's even better on the skin. So if you're afraid of it being too tart because of the green note, because it has sage in it. um, This one isn't like that. Like, I mean, maybe a little bit. But when you spray it on yourself, it starts to smell more like delicate, more light. Gives you like that bit of like when your clothes are straight out the dryer type of smell but still with the dna of bombshell it has most of the dna from bombshell i would just say it's a lot lighter and just has a slightly green note to it this is beautiful it's such a soft and pretty scent i really like this one a lot and i wasn't expecting to like it as much as i did i thought it was gonna be way more tart than it was the next one is Bombshell um, Intense. This one also smells really good. It's a lot more sexy than the original Bombshell. Like they're both, of course, like there's like a sexy vibe to both of them, but this one's more like grown woman. Now this one I could definitely wear on a night out or like I feel like a holiday event. There's just something very sexy about it. I don't know. It, I think like the cherry note in it. And this one just smells like like a grown woman when she, if I say grown woman, like someone like, I don't, like pretty much different ages could wear this one. I don't think it's like an old lady scent and I don't think it's like a super young scent. This just smells so good. Um, I could definitely picture even someone like in high school wearing this, someone high school, after high school, but someone like who's goes to like parties a lot, this would be perfect. So I love this one and red's my favorite color. So, and this type of color like light pink. So really love that scent and it's very sexy. And then the last one I got from Victoria's Secret is Bombshell Gold. Okay, let me spray this one. This one is also sexy. It's so good. This one I'll probably be wearing for Christmas. Not gonna lie, like Christmas Day probably. There's just something very sexy about this. I know they say it's a vanilla. I don't... It's not like this scent. I definitely smell that there's vanilla in here. But it's not like a pure vanilla because it's a lot more sexy honestly it's more perfumey kind of both of these give me the vibes of like carolina herrera good girl but they're not like that scent at the same time they just have like the sex same sexy factor that that scent has um but this one is so good it's actually in a way i feel like it's not as dark as the intense one but still has like that sexiness to it, which I don't know what that note is, but yeah, they just both have like a sexy factor to them, which I find really nice. Okay guys, so I got two more fragrances from, um, well this one is from Ross, so let me go with this one first. This is the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. So I've had the body spray and honestly, it smells pretty much the same. So this was the closest body spray I've smelled to like the perfume that matches it the most. Um, the cloud one smelled pretty different to me, surprisingly. This one smells way more like on point. This one's really nice. Um, so to me, this definitely has the candy notes. It's a very like strong berry scent to me. And it has like musky undertone. Like the musk in it is a little bit strong. Wearing this to the gym wasn't really it for me. Like I did not like this at the gym. But I like this like, like after the gym or like when I'm just chilling. This is a good scent. 
when I go out, I don't mind it. I just don't like to wear it at the gym. I find it, the musk in it to be a little bit strong. And I do like musky fragrances, but sometimes like her musky notes can be a little bit heavy for the gym. So I'm not a huge fan of wearing this to the gym per se, but for like a nice cozy scent, this scent is really good. Um, now the candy note in here, to me, I was trying to figure out what it reminds me of. A lot of her scents kind of have like a Skittles slash um, runts undertone to it, like the candy runts or like sweethearts kind of. Now this one, I would say this reminds me of Razzles. Something about it just smells like the Razzles um, candy gum. That's what this reminds me of. So if you like that, I think you'll really like this. Um, but this is a really good scent. It's very sweet and it still has like a marshmallowy kind of note to it, which I really love. I love the creamy factor to this. Um, the musk is a little bit heavy, but it's still nice. And then it has this razzle scent, which I find really interesting. And then the last thing I got from TJ Maxx is, Dol and this one was from TJ Maxx, not Ross. This is Dolce, um, by Dolce & Gabbana. but this is the shine one so i actually had this in the sample kit and i really like this one so i finally got it i love this scent guys it's like it has like a creaminess like kind of like has i feel like a vanilla kind of note to it which is really nice and it kind of has like something that smells slightly doughy to me but like in the best way and then it has like a fruitiness to it I believe it has mango in it and the mango is really nice I love mango so much and I love the like notes for mango so this was definitely a really nice scent and I like it because it kind of mixes like the creamy factor like the vanilla um doughy kind of factor to it mixed with the mango so which can kind of be off-putting sometimes but this was done the right way so yeah I really like this one all right you guys that is my haul